Endemic and the Midwest Project for SME, OEM, Use of Modeling and Simulation present a story of innovation at Jetco Plastic Products. Our story began with nanohub.org. Built by Purdue University into the world's largest online nanotechnology simulation and high performance computing website, serving researchers in higher education around the world with state-of-the-art simulation tools. Next, Purdue's Technical Assistance Program, funded by the state of Indiana to support small manufacturers with consulting by Purdue faculty and graduate students. TAP leads the Indiana Manufacturing Extension Partnership, which is identifying companies that are ready to innovate using the resources of the Midwest Project. Finally, Manufacturing Hub at Purdue uses NanoHub technology to deliver web-based simulation tools for the Midwest project. When Jetco Plastics learned that it could have the order to supply pallets for a major automobile manufacturer if it could innovate the design, the Midwest project provided the resources to meet this technical challenge. They wanted to replace pallets they had throughout their entire system worldwide that currently were made in metal, initially by a Russian source, later by a Chinese source. They want to replace it with, with a plastic alternative for a variety of reasons. Um, we actually were told that if we could just change two small items, we would have this order. The two small items were small in appearance only. And you can see a little bit of that right here. There's an incomplete bond that is formed in these fusion points, and there are pinholes on these structural elements right there. Looks like it's a very small change. And in fact, in dimensional terms, it is. It's like around two millimeters or so. But the change required had the potential to significantly degrade the deflection characteristics of this pallet. The answer to this, though, was to use the Midwest project to have a much finer mesh, to run this on a supercomputer that was going to have enough capacity to actually give us reliable results and to do so in a timely fashion. And several things here were critical to us making a constructive decision. There was certainly the expertise of the faculty and staff, which were very impressive. The directions of research, the test facilities, but particularly this program that allowed us access to a significantly enhanced FEA program and hardware that was sufficiently powerful enough to run it. It was a critical connection to make at a very important time. I'm thrilled that OSC was able to help Purdue University with the endemic project for Jekyll Plastics. We were able to provide access to Abacus thanks to Simulia and Nimbus Services. And this is exactly the type of project that we would like to do under the OSC Blue Collar Computing Program that we have been uh, running for the past seven years. When we ran the old model, the existing model, and we then ran the new design, we found that the differences in deflection were negligible. It was a, it was a huge relief when we actually found this. It was also the, the consequences of doing this right. First off, we were, we are almost certainly now going to get the entire order for between two and a half and five million dollars annually for some number of years. Five, six as a minimum. We're going to significantly increase our employment. We are going to produce export sales and all of this we really owe to this collaboration that we had with Purdue University and this Midwest project. Providing education, training, and access to simulation and high performance computing. Helping America's small manufacturers innovate and compete. This is the Midwest Project.